Oh boy, last night I had one of the worst sleeps I've had in a while. So please forgive me if, if there's something lacking in this video. I, I'm, I'm not feeling so horrible that, you know, that I, I feel like it would. But I just want to warn people ahead of time. Because if my body gives out halfway through this uh, episode, that's why. Uh, today we're doing episodes 30 and 31 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I kind of didn't realize we were this far into the series. Like, I... Felt like we were still in the, you know, late teens, early 20s of this show. Um, and then today I looked down and I was like, episode 30? Is that right? Am I sure? We're in episode 30. It's pretty crazy. So um, I'm excited to jump into this episode. In the last episode, we, um, I mean, a, a lot of stuff happened. Greed has a new body. Um, I remember they threatened Winry. I don't like that. May and Lanfana are both like recovering together but they're also enemies it's there's a lot of stuff going on this show is like as simultaneously a lot going on but also tends to not get too overtly complicated where it's too hard to follow so i think we'll be right <laughs> let's move on to uh episode 30 make sure to support the video and the channel if you can and my patreon account is in the description below if you want the full length reaction early access exclusive video stuff like that so go check that out let's jump into this this is episode 30 of full metal alchemist brotherhood so you've decided to become a soldier after all damn let's look at him it's the only thing left I mean, haven't I already this is master? the fundamentals of alchemy? Now that I know who you plan on using it for. Mm. <coughs> You're gonna use it for alchemy should be used wrong. For people, shouldn't it? Mm. The soldiers aren't for the people. There's no reason for a man of your stature to suffer in this kind of squalor. Mm. You would simply join the military. You could get grants who is for your research. You could I don't need a grant for something else. You mm. finished your research? On what? I've created the most powerful. It would only cause tragedy if I placed it in the wrong hands. The most powerful alchemy. Now that I've finished it, then we allow ourselves to die. Trust me, I've been dead for a long time. Oh, Master! You might die now, like for real. Are you all right, Master Hawkeye? Man, Hawkeye. Master Hawkeye? My daughter. Oh, it's Reese's dad. Oh shit. The Ishvalan War of Extermination. Whoa, why are we Is this whole episode a flashback? Let me guess. Bertolt. Also don't approve. That may be, but I know it's the only way to make a difference. So she I know I'll never be happy. Definitely did this country joined purely for Mustang. I trust you, Roy, with my father's research. Oh man. Whoa. What a tat. Bad dog. Yeah, heard you're working for the Fuhrer. Yeah. Unfortunately. I love Hawkeye, man. You know, Scar, I found out he murdered Winry's parents. Yep. She could have shot him. I stopped her. But I honestly think she would have shot him if I hadn't been there. No. Make things worse. You're just dwelling on this stuff because you made it back alive. Mmm. Survivor's guilt. How else can you protect her? Also, giving Winry lots of cuddles will help her, I think. Oh, shit! <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that! The poor dog covered in coffee. Do you mean Ishval? Can I ask you about that? Would it be alright? Mmm. I think she'll talk about it. Risa seems like the type to be honest about herself and her sin. past. What did you do to my people? Annexation by Amestris. Their mistrust was soon justified. <laughs> oh my god. One bullet changed it. Man. It's so sad when you see characters we know. <laughs> And love it was like hell on Earth. as part of this genocide. Most combat is oh. but it's different for snipers. Mm, so true. Sure to die when we pull the trigger. So the you really have to face have it. Direct line of sight on the effects of their actions. Snipers do. Oh, that's a really good point. 
blood alchemist, Mask Grand. I remember you. I remember you died. Oh shit! Cool fucking animation though. Oh man. I wish Mustang killing people didn't look so cool. Just a simple click. I'm strong. Hey, Roy. Roy Mustang. So you got deployed too. Man, we got a well, Hughes again. I could say the same, Hughes. You have the eyes of a killer. Well, he's wearing glasses. Yeah. I can't see him. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Look at this country. What? <laughs> What's wrong? I've still got a beautiful future. And her name is Gracia. <laughs> She's patiently waiting. <laughs> Before some jerk puts the moves on her. Oh my god, dude. She never have an affair like that. But yeah, of course not. She's a sweetheart. Confused. The soldiers who never shut up about their girls back home, they don't make it. He survives a surprisingly long time for that. It seems a little excessive to suppress an uprising. Oh. Hello, Major Mustang. Long time no see. Look at the you, you still the bags under their eyes. Damn. She has the eyes of a killer. Yeah, they're doing a good job with that, showing how Old it's like weathering alchemist. them. That tattoo is fucking crazy. Old metal alchemist. Because that's the job we state alchemists have been given to do. Oh, it's this fucking dude. Fuck off. <laughs> because this is a war, and that's what soldiers do. Don't be proud of it. You don't allow yourself to feel the slightest tinge of satisfaction. No. Well, Miss Marksman. That's enough, Kimberly. Yeah, burn him. I'll tell you what I don't, because I promise that they won't forget you. Oh. This is so depressing, man. <laughs> Can you tell me why you fight? For his family, I think. I don't want to die. That's hmm. the only reason. The reasons are always simple. I guess fight to to see his family, not fighting for his family. What the hell is the reason for this war? Oh. The reason. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so horrible. And all that for failed experiments, right? It was given to Major Zolf J. Kimberly. Oh. He was known as the Crimson Alchemist. Wait, was it a real stone Did then? Did you see what this man looked like? Everything changed. That single stone turned the battle around. It was a real stone? This land that's governed by death, I will paint it red with this shard of destruction. Is that Eric Vale who voices him? I was trying to figure it out. More fulfilling job. Sounds like he's doing close to his Shigaraki voice. Oh! Infamy! This stone is amazing! Why'd you give it to him? <laughs> the high priest of Ishvala, Log Lo, offered himself to the Fuhrer on behalf of his people. Did, was he killed? So, place with the remaining tens of thousands of Ishvalans. Oh. That's correct. I stand How arrogant. Do oh. you sincerely believe that your single life is equivalent to the remaining multitude? Oh, of oh my followers? god, dude, they're surrendering. The has gone to your head. One life, that's all. Nothing more and nothing less. <laughs> your life is not enough to call off the exterminate. How many mm. thousands of lives must I take before he decides to strike me down? You're <laughs> oh my monster. god. Open he really mind. is. God, if you wish to see me struck down for all these atrocities, Use your own hands to do so, not mm -hmm. God's. Man, I want to see... I want to see Bradley get That's taken it. down so badly. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people I love. Mm. And in turn... This is a cool shot. It seems like the least we tiny humans can do for each other. Wow, I like that. Talking about how small they are, but putting a lot of detail in them as you zoom out so you can see each individual person. I like that a lot. Aww. Based on the principles of equivalent exchange, then we soldiers have plenty to give back. Mm. This world is meant to prosper. I'm assigning you to be my assistant. I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Hell yeah. 
Although, Obviously, that doesn't last forever. To understand what this means, will to shoot me in the back as well. <laughs> if I she ever won't. deviate from this path, then I want you to shoot me. Oh. And I'm trusting you to do so. That's good. Good person to trust. Do you accept my offer? Only after the full extent of the military's corruption has been brought to light can this country move forward. What do you mean? That's a, a heavy Those who are task. Those who heroes during the Ishval will be brought to trial as war criminals. Oh my god. That's the homunculi were the ones pulling the strings. They caused the civil war. Well, they were the ones responsible. They triggered it. We were the soldiers who carried it out. Yeah. Never forget the people you've killed. This is interesting. You better get to it. You got plenty of people waiting for that day. Reese is such a responsible woman. But I lost my body. So you're his younger brother, huh? He probably looked just like him then. <laughs> for starters, I am way taller than my brother is, and I don't have a mean face like uh, him. Oh, May's gonna want you to get your body back. Too. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She's got a new crush now. I really hope that you get your body back. Soon. Yep. <laughs> Nice. Hope you're decent, Doc. Time for your supper. He's gone. It sure is quiet in here. Are you thinking about Ishval and crying yourself to sleep? <laughs> Venge Oh my god! <laughs> That's Wow. That final shot of just like the clothes and splatters of blood and vengeance. Like, I mean, is he really dead let me actually look at that shot properly again so that i can see like if it was if it was like definitely definitely him fully dead or if it was like a fake body again um uh it's probably him dead <laughs> and that looks like i mean that i you can see sort of like you can see a hand and a, another hand and a foot like i don't know where he would have got those <laughs> um so yeah, he really like blew up. What a cool visual, honestly. Like it's kind of horrifying, but it's a really cool visual. Um, and I mean, look, I the the doctor wanted death as well. So um, like it, it's not like something where I'm really upset that he died because he was did that sort of what he wanted. Um, wow. So that was a cool episode. It, it gave us a little more insight into the like pretty fucked up Ishvalan war. And, like, mostly into what people were thinking at the time and, like, what those soldiers were feeling. And there were some soldiers who were, like, basically leading into it and accepting it. Some soldiers that weren't thinking about it and then other soldiers that were thinking about it and mourning over it but still doing it nonetheless. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we we see how they're strugg struggling with it. And I think it's very interesting that, like, Mustang and Reese's sort of plan involves them being tried as war criminals because you know they truly feel that guilt and they think they shouldn't be exempt from the horrible things that they've done. I think that's super interesting. I wonder if the show will do that. Like if like is that a happy ending or I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't know if I want that or not, but I do understand why they want that to happen and i agree with the um with the meaning behind it like they that's that's a very honorable thing to do to like look back on it go we made a mistake we didn't stand up for what was right we did the, these horrible war crimes and if we want the world to go in the direction that we want it to go we have to be like put up on this this stage in front of everyone to show like this is what not to do and it needs to be us which is yeah very sad um but kim is his name kimberly and they kept i kept hearing his name and it sounds like kimberly but that doesn't sound like a real name <laughs> it's like a shortening of kimberly so i i wasn't sure if i was maybe hearing it wrong but i'm gonna call him kimberly for now um is that like sort of douchebag guy he had uh a philosopher stone and he used it and like it was a real philosopher's stone right because i mean i'm pretty sure even the fake philosopher's stones have some like they they still provide power of some sort um but the real ones uh will like uh you know so much more powerful and he had one 
had question mark or does he have one because he's still alive he's in in that jail right or was he breaking out broken out of the jail i can't remember but he's he's still out there we keep cutting back to him and seeing what he's up to um so like i i think he's still there does he have a philosopher's stone with him now i don't know i really don't know um i do really like i mean first of all i like seeing that that mustang's like master one who taught him a lot um is uh and the one that like he got uh, the flame alchemy secrets from and stuff is reza's dad i think that's really cool and a, a good way to tie those two characters together and i can see why reza is like loyal to mustang as well i really appreciate all of that stuff and i like what reza was saying about like if this world runs on the rule of equivalent exchange then we have to stay in the military because we have a lot to give back to the world like we've we can't just take that much away and not give anything back they they use this show uses equivalent exchange that whole concept very very often um in terms of obviously the rules of the world but also like in sort of wordplay in um in the conversations that they have and i i think it's very cool that they like have that continuous theme going on like in both like both uh in terms of the magic system and morally the world should be balanced that's sort of what the show keeps showing so it's very interesting um all right let's move on to the next episode this is episode 31 of full metal alchemist brotherhood here we go Scar about his role in this What? There's a collar? How'd they get my collar? Oh, in the intro there, he had the philosopher's stone in his mouth. <laughs> Will you be all right? Well, it's all in how you look at it, I guess. This close to him, it just means I'll have a better chance to kill him in his sleep. Oh, <laughs> true, but I don't think you can do that. Tell the colonel that Scar is back. Sure thing, no problem. <laughs> Aww, puppy. For telling me about Ishval. <laughs> Reese is so sweet. The 520 sends promise. Ow. Well, let's see. First thing, I really want to eat some of mm -hmm, the I knew it. <laughs> and you know what? They'll be smiling when they see us. Yeah. That'll be nice. Just to see them smile. Aww. He's such a we sweet guy. Right now. They're alchemy we don't know about. Yeah, which means we haven't hit a dead end yet. Are you, you gonna go talk to May about She's it? She's gone? The little obnoxious girl left? Oh. Damn. This morning. But Damn. You, ah. <laughs> still find her. And we don't have any clues. <laughs> Look for panda fur. We do have a clue, Al. Uh-huh. Put some bamboo out and wait for her to come. They're a gift from me. Hold down the fort till we get back. Right. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. oh. You're being deployed to Southern Command, right? Yes, sir. The opposite from you. It's gonna be so cold. I always mm. get the worst posts. <laughs> oh, sure. I just came by to get something that I left. Huh. Right. Uh, bra from when they fucked I've got in this intel room. That Scar is back on the prowl. Things are gonna be tough without my bodyguard. Aww. Just don't get killed, sir. <laughs> sure. Maybe I picked the wrong person to side with after all. Then go ahead and shoot me. If that's what you <laughs> promised me that you would. You haven't gotten quite that bad. Yeah, you're not going in the wrong direction. Too kind. See you later. These two's relationship is so great. My pawn. Yeah, it started off as a hobby of mine. My bishop. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, this I is interesting. My rook. Okay. Is Reza your queen? <laughs> and worst of all, I'll follow you into hell. <laughs> They've even taken my queen. Yep. Makes a lot of sense. Whoa! Not yet anyway. Oh, there's a secret in there. That's why he had to deliver the chessboard. I was thinking, who cares about a chessboard? You know, they might not be in central anymore. Full metal. 
<laughs> I just ran over a panda. Do you know anything about this? <laughs> don't, say. don't look while you're driving. Sounds promising. So how about you cough it up? Eyes on the road! <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. 500 cents? It was 520 cents! <laughs> Don't con me. I'm just gonna hold on to this. But I promise to pay you back when you become Fuhrer. Oh, shit. Go on and keep that money for now. <laughs> but you will pay me back. Yeah, he's confident you know, he's gonna become Fuhrer. I like that. I'll borrow some more change. Pay that back when this country's a democracy. <laughs> that day, you're not planning to let me off the hook for a long time, are you? You better not worry the lieutenant either. Yeah. Thanks for giving us a ride. He's basically saying, you know, you've got a long road ahead of you, and I believe you can do it. Sure. But don't, don't slow down, you know. I like it. I was getting tired of. Hey, working. man, why are you here? It's Roy. Well, I'll be damned. Oh my God! Time. All these women. Hello, Vanessa. My He's a ladies' man. Already. Good evening to you, Madam Christmas. How you Madam Christmas. <laughs> I just got out of the hospital, but I could oh. use something special. Oh shit! This is what the note was. My you really shouldn't be giving out our secret line to civilians. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies still come a calling for my services. <laughs> Full metal alchemist. Oh, I like the chess piecing. I love that they change up this every time. Do new Lost illustrations. And look at you now. Leave her alone. <laughs> hey! You lost your arm. She did it for the right reason. Reward her. I promised Lon Fon that I would introduce her to an automail engineer. We decline. What? We appreciate such a kind gesture, but you've already helped us enough. No, we, we want her to have a cool arm. On our own. We refuse to risk the life of your engineer friend. Oh. That's right, then. honorable. You have my gratitude. What? Do I look like the kind of doctor that wants gratitude? <laughs> Pay me! <laughs> I'm not such a pushover that I'm gonna let you take my bed for an extra night. <laughs> now get out. I'll seek out the evil here. Remember mm. us. We will return. <laughs> I just realized, is that... Uh, I forgot what her name is. Mikas' voice actor. If so, I love her. Even if not, I love her. I'll always be indebted to you for taking care of me. Oh. Thanks, Dr. Knox. Thank you for saving me. Well, you're thinking about the gratitude, so I think you do Treat like it. Me like a real doctor. Well, if you're helping people now, that's what matters, right? What do you right? want? Well, I actually spent the last few days treating some live patients. It's absurd, huh? <laughs> Just try to picture me saving lives. I... Well, I want to become a doctor. <laughs> that you've been, no matter what, you never gave up on helping people. <laughs> it takes courage. Wow, I didn't that, expect for being a doctor to focus on the doctor. Come on in. It's not gourmet or anything, but I'll brew us up some coffee. <laughs> Why don't we try to clean up a little before you can tell us not to? <laughs> what sweet. I don't know if you actually exist or not. Uh, but kids and back. wife. Then a guy like me needs a break. Oh. Just splitting a cup of coffee with my family. Oh my god! Wow, I didn't expect that. Loved that scene. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Write up the details in your formal report for us. But we'll need the stone back first. Oh. <gasps> he he ate it doing? like he did in the OP. Now let's stone. Traitor! <laughs> Whoa, that's a cool uh circles on his oh, hand. What's going on? Visitors. Damn, so he just oh, eats it whenever he doesn't way. need it. You've been released. You really are psychotic. What kind of political move is this? Letting a nut job like you out. Shit, man. Is it Bradley that let him out? I appreciate you taking care of me. Oh no, is he gonna kill him? I hope I never see you. Jesus. 
Man. What is this? I can't get it off. Is it a that countdown till he dies or something? Oh. Oh. It's nothing but a harmless toy. <laughs> you could give it to your kid or something. <laughs> but it, it is stuck on his hand. <laughs> it's been a while, Kimberly. Oh shit. Envy. Congrats. One of the chimeras that we had watching over him has gone missing. Oh. Marco's specialty was transmuting living tissue. Oh. He might have used the chimera in his place. And Interesting. That wasn't bad enough, okay, that makes he sense. Might have <laughs> After you've nabbed Marco for us, there's a certain little town we'll be asking you to wipe off the map. A town. Your kind of Jeez. Job, right? It's been too long since I've used this. I don't know if that one's going to be enough for this job. Really? <gasps> a new stone. Did a you better one. Volans to make it? First stone for us. Your cruelty's infinite. So now he has a weaker stone and a stronger stone? This is fucked. Also, you might be able to help me decipher some of the research notes my brother left behind. Ah. Uh... Research notes? He said that our alchemy was strange. I don't know. Sir. That little girl was able to find us. <laughs> Please teach me how to create the stone. How oh did you my. make it? I'm begging you to show me. I don't think no, you want to know. <sighs> oh shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! You destroyed the surface. You can stop the bleeding. Oh! oh right. That's fucked! Travel if your face is unrecognizable. That's fucked! It's time. The North. Okay. Jeez, man. Damn, that was a good episode. That the <laughs> the whole like destroying the surface of his face so that people can't recognize him is is so screwed up. Man, like it's it Scar's an interesting character, because he's He's a villain. He's like he's I guess he's kind of like an anti-hero, but he's but he does villainous things. He's he's I think closer to a villain than an anti-hero. Um but like and it's like you almost forget that for a while because he's like not quite going on a redemption arc, but he's like going through the motions of like his enemies are our enemies most of the time. So he kind of well, at least I kind of tend to forget, like, how evil he kind of is. But then he does something like that where it's like, yeah, for my convenience, we, well, for our convenience, you, you need to not be recognized. So I'm just going to destroy the skin on your face, like, without, <laughs> without a second thought. I'm just going to do that and basically torture you with it. So that's really awful, even though it's, you know, like, it, maybe he's right. Maybe they need to do that to survive. It's, you... It's still a fucked up thing to do to someone. Um, but okay, so from the last episode when I was like, oh, well, there's like a hand and a foot there. So that looks like it's probably Marco's real body. Um, no, it makes sense. He, he transmuted one of the chimeras or whatever to be able to, um, to be able to, you know, serve as his body or whatever and escape. So that, that does make sense. Um, <clears throat> very cool way to do that. And I like that that wasn't a long running secret that was just like a tease at the end of last episode and then they explained it in this episode so that's cool um i really liked the scene of um mustang i mean mustang and edward have like a good rapport with one another i feel like i want them to be together in the show more because they sort of have their own storylines going on and they meet up every once in a while they chat for a second and then they leave each other and like that's a cool dynamic but i want them to do that more because i like those two talking to each other they seem to be on the same page they respect each other um and in that scene of just like mustang saying like you owe me this money <clears throat> and him saying i'm gonna give it back to you when you get to fura which is like basically saying one i know that that's your goal and two like i'm supporting you in that goal and like it's such a small thing but if you don't get to Fury, you're not getting your money back, which is just like a an extra motivation. Obviously, the 
um, you know, like a, a small amount of money isn't going to be what what pushes him over the edge. But it's like the, symbolically giving him more reasons and, you know, more backup, showing that there is more people and reasons behind him to continue on this path. But then like saying, and when you do that, I'm going to borrow more money for you until you um, make this, you know, place a democracy and then i'll do it again until you like make this country better or whatever it was like he he's basically saying and once you get there don't lose sight this is what my interpretation of it at least don't lose sight of your goals keep moving forward because uh there's always going to be things that you need to improve on and i want you to achieve your goals but i don't want you to achieve one of the goals and then become complacent or start doing the same thing that bradley's doing like I, I'm trusting that you're gonna do the right thing, and I really like that. It was a really cool scene. Um, uh, so, uh, no, I actually don't have anything to say about that. <laughs> Just looking at my notes right now. Um, man, the doctor scene where like they leave him behind. We the doctor does the whole classic like rhetoric of um, I don't care about your gratitude, and I'm not that nice that I'm gonna let you stay here. So get out, go go home or whatever. Uh, and then we're seeing him like sitting there alone. He's thinking about the gratitude and he's trying to like be down on himself and just say like, I don't deserve any thanks or this is really stupid. Um, and then his family comes to his door. They haven't seen him in a while. They're still inspired by his want to help people and they want to spend time with him. And then the, we see the doctor alone and he like cries and it says like, I just want to enjoy this moment with my family. It's such a sweet moment. I didn't think they'd just get me super emotional over that one doctor, but what a great little scene. Like it's such a simple scene and it works so, so well for those characters. I love it. Um, and then we've got uh, Kimberly is now out and he has the philosopher philosopher stone still on him um but it's not so like you know now that i'm seeing the comparison like he's got like a weird shard and then he was just given like the perfect sphere type philosopher stone so um i imagine like the shard is like still it's probably a real philosopher stone just a weaker one like a less refined one i imagine um why did they give him another one like not not in terms of um, why did Envy do that? Because Envy did that, you know, to give him a better stone so he can do the job properly. But at, from a story perspective, why have him keep the original Philosopher's Stone if they're just going to give him a new, better one anyway? The only things that I can think is like, like either he somehow combines them together or he gives his weaker one to someone and then he has an accomplice or... He's using the stronger one and something happens to it, but then they find the weaker one on his body or something. Um, like, the, I, I'm just trying to, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, why the story has now two Philosopher's Stones in it that could potentially, you know, do stuff. Um, because it's an interesting story choice. So, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, that's the episodes 30 and 31 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to support this video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And go to my Patreon account if you want the full-length reactions, early access, and exclusive videos. I will see you next time. Goodbye.